It was improvements to the F-16 and advances in electronics that finally led the Air Force to retire the F-4G, replacing it with the F-16CJ, which now serves as both hunter and killer. The F-16CJ's offensive punch comes from the AGM-88 harm missiles it carries. It also carries a harm targeting system, which allows the wild weasel pilot to fire his harm missiles from longer range and with greater accuracy. When it is not accompanied by an EA-6B prowler, the F-16CJ can also carry an electronic jamming pod for self-protection. The environment of the Wild Weasel mission is different from that of other fighters. The Wild Weasels often operate at very low altitudes, using terrain features such as hills and trees to mask their aircraft from enemy radars. The F-16 suitability to the Wild Weasel mission is due to its particular virtues. It is a small, very agile fighter, ideally suited to either dogfighting or treetop level attack. Because the wild weasels will be at the very tip of an attacking strike package, they have to be able to defend themselves against enemy fighters. The F-16 Falcon is much more sophisticated than the older F-4 Phantom it replaced. The Falcon was the first combat aircraft to employ fly-by-wire controls. A method of flight controls relying on computer-assisted stabilization instead of the conventional mechanical and hydraulic systems. Not surprisingly, the F-16 was dubbed the electric jet. It is an age-old rule of air combat that it is the enemy you can't see who is your greatest threat. For this reason, the F-16 was designed to give the pilot unparalleled visibility from the cockpit. Modern air warfare, several different types of aircraft perform an attack mission, working in unison in what is called a strike package. The strike package includes attack aircraft to deliver bombs against targets, fighters to defend package aircraft from enemy fighters, and finally, the electronic warfare aircraft, which provides protection against any radar-guided threats.